<laughs> what up guys back at splashing dad's fishing sorry for not having a video for a long time but you know i decided that it was about time that i started to make some more videos the real reason i haven't been making videos is i've been busy i went on vacation you know that was pretty lit You know, I don't do things that often with my family, so that was cool. But yeah, you know, I'm out here at Long Pond. Hey, yeah, how my line just takes off wherever. Oh, you just see that? You just see that? You just see that? That was awesome. First bass of the day in my intro. On a swim shed. What do you know? I was talking. This bad boy decided to take the lure. Nice little chunky thing. I'm gonna let this one go. I'm thinking about keeping some fish today, but not this one. My first cast, what do you know? Here you go, bub. Man, that was awesome. That was really awesome. This is actually my uh, first time throwing the swim sheds from Bass Pro Shop. Uh, they're really, really good soft plastics out here and I just produced right there so you know you can probably tell they're actually pretty good um, I'm trying to use a lot more different lures because uh, I've stuck with Senkos and tubes a lot and I'm starting to realize that in order to be a better fisherman I might have to change up my uh... oh I just had one it hit hit hard but I might have to change up my game plan because you know, sink. You just see that right in front of me. You know, I'm I'm trying to stay out of these lilies, throwing into the lilies because I don't really got equipment today to be throwing in there. So I'm just gonna stick to the outside the lilies. It's not saying that a fish ain't gonna pull me in because if I hook a big one, probably gonna get pulled in there. But that's the least of my worries right now. This is fun, you know. My first couple casts, maybe it was my first, I don't even remember. Caught that fish. But you know, that's the thing. Some days you have better days than others. Got, got one. Pick roll. Wow. This guy does not want to be caught. Oh man, I hate these things. Oh, it just hooked me. Ah, oh, just leave me alone. There you go. He's got a weird growth on him. Okay, there's the pickerel. Nice chunky thing. Let's uh, here, let me get a better shot. There's the pickerel. Uh, let's let it go. I'm looking to catch a nice bass though. If I can catch me a good good old bass, then we're talking. Then we are talking. If there's a day I'm gonna catch an eight. This might be the day. Yeah, it might be an exaggeration, but you know what I'm saying. There's there's fish in here today. I really wanted to try this area over here. I had a guy tell me that this was a good spot. I don't know if this is the exact spot, to be honest. But I'm going to try it, and we'll see how it goes. Got one. Not a big one, but it's a fish, and it's better than nothing. Another one. Man, I'm doing well. Let's just see if we can catch some big ones. Let's let this little guy go. Oh, wow. 
Just caught that fish. This this bait is working for me. For some reason my anti reverse kicked on, which is really weird. I've never had that happen. I thought it was a big fish for some reason, but I didn't say it because I knew my anti reverse just kicked on. Let's see if this fish in this little cove was the big one. The big one. Big old eight. Oh, I got a nice one. Oh, I got a nice one. Oh, I got a nice one. Stay out of there. Stay out of there. No, no, no. No, no. No, no, no. Oh, I got a nice one. I got a nice one. Oh, I got a nice one. Let's get him out of there. Let's get him out of there. Bad. It's a real bad. I got a nice bass on. Maybe it's gone. Please tell me I didn't lose that. Please tell me I didn't lose that. Oh, I still got it. I still got it. I still got it. I still got it. I, got it. I don't know where he is over here, but he's in here. Don't grab the line, Anton. Don't grab the line. Grab the fish. Oh, if I had my net. Oh man, this is nice. This is a nice fish. It's tight. Oh wow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a big one, a huge one, big old bass. That's what I wanted. That's what we came out for. Took me a while to get it in, but man, this is what it's all about. And I'm thinking I'm gonna take this boy home. Oh yeah, what a gorgeous fish. Oh boy, I need a, oh, I wish I could get a picture. Yo, is my GoPro on? I need to check to see my GoPro on, man. Oh, my GoPro is on. That, my friends, is a big bass. We need to get a weight. We need to get a. We need to get a measurement on this. I don't got my uh, tape, which kind of sucks, but I do have the handy dandy expensive scale. So let's hook this this fish on a scale. Let the scale clear. Let me see. Here we go. I think it's three something. Three pounds. Three pounds, four ounces. Do you see that? Another nice bass. Three pounds four, three pounds three. There we go, man. That makes me content. I'm content with this big old fish. It's a big old fish. Can't believe this is only three, man. That's a that's a chunk. Dang. You know what? I'm not complaining. This is a keeper. And I'm gonna put this on that stringer. Because I am taking this home to eat. I don't usually keep fish. This was a nice catch. I'm so happy I just caught this fish. I mean, it's not no five, but it's a nice one. You know, I haven't actually kept a fish except for with my best friend once. So this is going to be fun. I have no clue what to do with this. Or, actually, I have no clue where I'm going to put it. But, let's see what I do. Okay, let's let this guy back in the water. Let him refresh. This one's coming home with me. That's a chunk. 
Sorry, McFadden. I had you beat this time. Yep, it had to be that way. But yeah. Let's uh. How am I gonna do this? I have no clue. I'm gonna put this on the stringer. But let's put this stringer right on that clip and put that in there. There you go, bass. Man, that was crazy. I, you know, the thing is, I did not want that to go in the weeds. And I was trying everything I could to get that out of the weeds. But the problem was, my kayak kept going across the weeds because the wind, and it made no sense because the fish was pulling me. And I was like, oh boy. Oh boy, I'm going to lose this fish. And when I got it in the weeds, I thought I just had weeds. But thank goodness, God is good. Got me some dinner. You know, guys, I'm a big fan of catch and release. You know, I never keep fish. But I told myself, you know, I want to go out and get me some fish to fillet and fry up. Because, you know, I don't do that often. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm usually a catch and release type of guy. I don't usually ever keep fish. You see, I get mad seeing people keep fish every time they're out. But this is an exception for me. You know, I've only kept one fish and I was probably 10 years old. And that would have been a walleye. And it wasn't even my choice to keep, it was my dad. He wanted to eat it. So, I guess it's a little bit different of a situation. You will not believe what just happened. The fish just broke off my stringer. That got me so mad, because I was gonna eat that for dinner. That is my dinner gone. How does that happen? I locked it. That got me so tight right now. Oh man. Plus I wanted a picture when I got home, but oh well, can't have everything. little pickle not a bad meal Let's let that little thing go That's the first fish I've lost all day. That sucks. Man, today was epic. You know, I don't go out to Long Pond much and catch a lot of fish. Like, it doesn't happen. I'm not the, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the greatest fisherman. You know, I had a great day out there. You know, I, I used what I've learned on YouTube um, from Bass University. And I picked up some sw swim sheds, uh, swim baits from Bass Pro Shop. And I ended up throwing them just like they told me to, and you know, it worked perfectly. I was catching fish. I caught some nice fish, caught some little fish, caught some pickerel. As I always say to some people that really know me, work to live, but live to fish. See you next time. I was blessing to fishing.